Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to be looking at using Power Automate and Power BI to send PDF reports automatically via email when we click a button within our dashboard and we'll be utilizing the Power Automate visual. What we're going to cover, as we can see here on the slide, setting up a Power Automate button so that we can then send that PDF Power BI report. There are some limitations. You must have a Power BI premium subscription and the report must be published to a workspace previously. However, you know, even if you don't have that premium subscription, it's nice to see how Power Automate works with the Microsoft ecosystem and Power BI in this case to automate the way we work and improve our efficiency. As I say, you can join my LinkedIn Power BI community, Power BI Playground, or check out my website for blogs and services at matadorsoftware.me. So let's dive into actually creating this button and this Power Automate flow. The first thing that we can do is go into our standard visualizations and select the Power Automate for Power BI option. And in order to actually, it'll, it'll give you an insight here how to how to actually work the flow and, and create it. Um, like I said before, we need to ensure that this is published in the Power BI service. The Power BI service is just the online part of Power BI where your, your reports and dashboards live is an easy way to think about it. So published in a workspace. And now if we hit the ellipsis above this Power Automate visual, we just select edit and this will take us directly into the Power Automate UI within Power BI. So this is similar as to what we would see on, you know, office.com and going into Power Automate or Power Automate Desktop. We're just doing it within Power BI. There are some template options, but we are going to create our own from scratch and I'll show you how simple it is to really improve the way that we work. First of all, what we want to do, we want to start with a new instant cloud flow. This first option, Power BI button clicked, that comes as default because we have to click a button. So we'll go on to the next step. And Power Automate, if you've not used it before, just used a, uses a logical flow of, of the action that we want to achieve. So if we think about it, we want, to use, we want to export this Power BI report to PDF. So we'll type that in here and we now see this export to file for Power BI reports. And all we need to do is select the relevant workspace that we've published this to, select the relevant report and the format that we want to export this in. So probably most of the time you would use PDF or PNG. PDF is probably the best, the best option here if we want a quick insight to email this out. And there, there are lots of other options, you know, we could apply report level filters, we could look at bookmarks, we could add in the URL for those um, within the Power BI service, or we could, you know, we could do lots of advanced settings, but here I want to keep this sort of quite minimal and just show you with very few actions, how easy it is to really improve the way we work. And like I said, we go in a logical flow. So the final step needs to be that we send an email and again, to set this up is very simple. You do get options for dynamic content or, you know, just hard coded values. So we select an email. I'll just do my, my planning email. And the subject here, like you see, we could make this dynamic. So we could enter a username, email, whatever. But I'm just going to hard code this because this is going to tell myself or the end users, whoever we're emailing this to everything that they would need to know. So it could be something as simple as the latest Dogecoin dashboard PDF export because we're using our, our Dogecoin dashboard. And now the body, you're free to write whatever you like and you can intertwine dynamic and hard coded content. So what I'm doing here is I'm just saying, you know, basic description. We could, you know, actually add in the sender's email or name or whatever, but I'm just going to put here's the latest Dogecoin dashboard and attach a dynamic timestamp. So when we go back and look at these emails, we'll know when it was taken from, and it's nice and simple. So all that there's left to do now is to save and apply. So we've got our logical steps. We click the button, we export it to the file to turn it into a PDF, 
and we then send an email. It's worth noting that there are advanced email steps. Again, CC, we can blind copy, add sensitivity. You know, the only one that I may use in this instance, the importance is probably quite high importance if we're, if we're exporting it and sending it out. So we'll add that and again, we'll save and apply. So once we hit save and apply, we're left with, with our button, our Power Automate visual, and we can start to format this just to make it a bit more minimalist and fit in with the actual theme of our dashboard, make it look a bit crisper. So we can do things like remove the background and fill to align to you know our primary or secondary colors, and we can add a nice little Power Automate icon just to help users actually see what we're doing within an instant and what they need to do to work more effectively and spot trends. So we can do that and that is a, a pretty quick um, but really good insight into a great area. You know, Power Automate works with the Microsoft ecosystem, connects lots of things together and this just isn't limited to Power BI. You can do so much with essentially any app. So, you know, SharePoint, Excel, email, uh, notifications, Teams. So start playing around with it. There's some interesting features within Power BI and Teams, and we can use Power Automate to connect those. And as usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you.